the subtle mission of Swami has been divided into three phases. The first, roughly three years since 2011, April, was Sankarsana to attract. Swami attracted people to Himself because He wanted His people back to Himself. Not those who wanted Him, but those whom He wanted. He attracted them. Sankarsana, attraction. The next roughly three, three and a half years of phase was Sandarsana. Swami went country to country, city to city, home to home, to Sivi Raman Nagar, to meet his devotees, talk to them, make them understand that it is the same Swami again. It is He is here again to lead us from where he left us, back to ourselves. He has not abandoned us, he has not given up on us, he has not forgotten us. He is very much around and wants to lead us back to himself. Sandarshana went around giving his darshan, sparshan, sambhashan in order to make us realize that he is here with us and he wants to lead us to himself. And then the most important, glorious, the golden period is that of Sankramana. Sankramana is not mere a change or a transition. Going from left to right also can be transition. Right to left also can be transition. But Sankarmana is not transition. Sankarmana is going from down to up. Sankarmana is going from out to in. Sankarmana is going from human to divine. And that is the phase which has begun. It is not for just one or two. But this is the time, this is the opportune moment for each one of us to put our efforts on this path. To earn His grace, to empty our palms of all other desires, wants, ideas, likes, dislikes, ambitions, goals that we have filled our palms with and leave it empty in the readiness Yoga Sansiddha to receive Atmani Vindati, to receive the ultimate from His hands. This is the most beautiful period. Like it's difficult to drive in the dark. And one space slows down because of the darkness and lack of visibility. However, the same person can drive much faster in the daylight. For he can see everything clearly far ahead on the road. Likewise, these, this period, starting this Guru Purnima, is that like that of a daylight where we can see our road ahead clearly, we can see who are the co-passengers, we can see our way and so we can drive faster, we can reach our goal earlier with less obstructions, less difficulties. This is the phase which has begun now. It is not just for one or two or ten or a hundred, but it is for all. For Guru is he doesn't grace one and not the other. He doesn't grace one for this reason and refuses another for another reason. He is there to grace each and every person. And that is the faith which has begun at this point in time. And this is the best time, the best place, the best situation to attain it. For once, this moment, this opportunity... This circumstance passes. We don't know when again it will come to us, how soon and where. Therefore, let us put efforts on this spiritual path. For no efforts will be wasted. And even if little we learn, little we earn of the grace of the Guru on this path, we will be redeemed. Trayate. We will be redeemed of all the pettiness all the smallness, all the limitedness of the individuality.